I'm going to try to address some questions online, a little bit more interactive with uh, the people who are following and who are consistently following inshaAllah. Try to get uh, some of our regulars, not anyone coming in. A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azeem, Zulhalana wa Ishfalana wa Abiduni bi madadakum. Wa atiyaullah atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu da'eef for miskeen zalim wa jahal. And by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and that we took a path of nothingness. And that alhamdulillah Allah brought us this far on the journey and ya musabibul asbab. That the one whom giving, 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 there's a reason that a shaykh will make a du'a and the reason for that du'a becomes evident. It's the one who bestows, the one who bestows, the one who bestows, Ya Dalil al Mutahireen, the one whom guides the bewildered, Ya Musabibul Asbab, the one whom makes every cause. Allah will make every event wa ya musabib al asbab wa mufatiha abwab. And these are, we can't repeat enough from myself that Allah causes a condition and opens up doors. And which door would you like to go? Sometimes life can be very stagnant if Allah doesn't create a condition. It's just sitting there like water and you know the water loses its barakah of wudu if it's stagnant. It loses its purity and has a tremendous reality in our own lives. If you just sit stagnant, of course you become jaded to everything. You just, whatever, I've been doing this so long nothing's been happening. You became like water that was once pure. And now you become contaminated, so it means the water has to flow, has to continuously flow. That flow, musabibul asbab, that Allah create a condition on our lives always and pushes and jolts. Whether you lose your job, that was musabibul asbab. Whether you become sick, whether you get into argument, whatever the condition, Allah puts the servant in, there are doors opening and which one do you want to go through? And in this, this life many were tested and they said that they were not prepared and a reminder for myself and, oh we didn't get anything, we don't have anything, now we're all panicking on the internet to find how sumak will help us, how this spice will help us, how that spice will help us, make your dishes delicious. But I don't think it builds your relationship with Sayyidina Muhammad That's a whole different reality. That in the time of the Dajjal and a great fitna that begin to open upon the earth, imagine how people begin to play with something that can potentially become very bad, very dangerous, very fast. Someone says it and no qualification of who that person was, someone verifies it and it verified who, verified who said this, who is the one saying something on behalf of Sayyidina Muhammad The messenger is as important as the message, if something coming to you Allah verified who told it to you. Without any verification something comes now into the nation, something be verified by some imam standing up and the next thing you know it's posted as if it's hadith. It's it, that's it, that's firm. This is from our beloved Sayyidina Muhammad 
That is the danger. Whether you like sumaq on your food or not, that's not relevant. Because today it starts with sumaq, then become all these different rules and, and, and guidelines and nobody knows where they're coming from. My grandmom said this, my mom said this, my brother said that. Now the fitna moves and that when people fall into difficulty. And that's why Allah Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, find an Ulul Am. If you're watching this channel, alhamdulillah, if you don't like turn it off. Find whomever you want from the Ulul Am that they have been tried and tested and that they're authorized, Amr because Every command that came to them in their training they tried their best to fulfill it until they reach a station of sincerity and never that you stay at a station because Prophet prayed that, don't leave me for the blink of an eye against my nafs. See how shaitan's so angry, no one even out there just comes by to honk. There's not even traffic outside, just shaitan is like, I don't like what you're saying. <laughs> Follow the ulam, they've been tried and tested and because of their sincerity they were raised up and became from Ahlul Basira. And we said when Allah be with me Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, four corners. And all of them make up and comprise the presence of Allah This is the Kaaba. That's why He said, many go for hajj but they don't know what they're doing. The first ruq is the first corner, salihin. Next corner, shuhada. Following corner, the shuhada will point us to siddiqeen and the siddiqeen will walk us to the corner which not from this dunya. Hajj al-Aswad that they kiss the stone and that's Nabi'een. If this Siddiqeen introduce you to the corner means that they are giving you permission to really kiss the stone, kiss the holy hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and what? Sultana Nasira. This is Maqa Siddiq. The Siddiq brought you into his maqam, took you to Sultan and Nasira and the door of the Kaaba opens, these two beatific hearts. The tariqahs are either from Imam Ali Salam or Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. These are the two doors to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Everybody go back and look at the holy door of Kaaba, Sharif. Two door knobs that are hearts and they open to the presence of Sultan and Nasira. The system that they teach was what they learned. People like it, they don't like it. So then they said that in the prior month Munafiq and Surat al-Munafiq, the person dies and the only request they have from Allah send me back so I can give. Musabib al-Asbab is shaking the world as a rahmah and the prior month their teaching was that as soon as someone dies they didn't ask, Ya Rabbi let me go back and pray. Now see how the people in the mosque what they teach and what awliyaullah teach. Didn't say, let me go back Ya Rabbi make all my salah I missed, let me, let me go make my hajj Ya Rabbi that I missed, oh let me make up all my fasting I missed. He said, Rabbi let me go back and give big in my charity. So that I can attain to be from Salihin. That's it. Why well, you have to make tafsir more difficult than that? Allah says, in your life give a character in which you give. Zakah, zaki, a life of giving, your hands are open. Only Allah their hands are open as a result. They're not tight-fisted people. Tight-fisted people usually end up hitting people. That's why you have tight fists. You don't want to give anything, anyone come near you, tak! <laughs> right? Open hand life. It's get up, whatever you gave to me, I'm giving. And as a result Allah says, whatever you gave I give you back ten times more. 
hundred times more, a thousand times more. If you only knew how much I gave you of your spirituality, one dollar, ten million dollars could not buy any of it. So they understood that this, this ruqna salihin to enter into this corner salihin they had to be very generous. Their generosity was beyond people's comprehension. And generosity, somebody goes out there and says, I have no money shaykh. No, you can be generous with your prayers. You can say, I have nothing, everyone according to their level. Someone may have only ten dollars in their life and their one dollar they give is more than all the wealth in the world. And if they don't have that to give, they all day long can say, Shaykh, I'm praying for you, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. Someone has an ability, someone has a skill, someone has, a, has something of what Allah has given to them, their life was of service. When they gave and they gave and they gave, Allah said, now you pass this corner because their journey wasn't to Allah's way. The corner that they reached to was shuhada, to be mushahid. That I want to die before I die Ya Rabbi because I'm only living and seeing this world. I gave it, I walked away from it. I had many desires to be a big banker, a big real estate man, someone with lots of things and lots of products. Everybody had a dream when we came through the door. I don't know if necessarily this was it. The one day I'm going to be in Naqshbandi and I'm going to be doing. Everybody was ready to go to med school, to law school, to something. It was never even our coordinates. But they ran away from Islamic countries and ran to America. And lo and behold, at the age of 35 you have a big beard. So your parents' plan but Allah's plan was far greater. This is the, the miracle of, of Allah but as we're journeying, this is our journey, so they keep it in very basic and understanding. We gave, we gave and we entered generosity, then they're showing us now this next maqam, this next corner. These are the shuhada that they began to die. Why they die? Because what they wanted in life no longer mattered. Don't, don't repeat, I wanted this, I did this, I sacrificed this for you, I sacrificed this. Everyone reaching this maqam did that. They all sacrificed their wounds, they walked away from where they were to reach towards that. As a result Allah put into their heart, they're dying before they're dead because their desire died, their want died, their dreams died. Everything that they thought this world was for and what their mom and their father taught them it was for. It vanished until one day they looked in the mirror and said, I don't even see this man anymore. I don't know who you are that I'm looking at. Definitely not no John. You can look some of the older pictures. No John didn't look like this. <laughs> None of my friends would identify who I was and who I am now. That person is continuing, well, trying to bury him but every now and then he tries to resurrect himself. Because this dead doesn't like to stay dead. That's what Prophet meant, don't, don't leave me for a blink of an eye. You don't reach something and it's just finished for life. That, that personality and that name and all that it symbolizes in life, we tried very hard to bury it. That what they knew from that name and what that name symbolized, we tried all our life to bury it. And that's why we semi-changed the name. That one he's dead, this one is someone different. And that's why we, we gave that song from America, Though I walk through the desert on a horse with no name and there's nobody to call my name and give me any shame because they knew me as something else. That one has to die and all the friends who think they know that one, it died and Allah secluded many, cut them and isolated them from who they were and who their will was until what Allah's will and that was the importance of that maqam. So you, you can like a litmus test, 
You can say, oh am I a very generous person? Because can you come make a tawaf and say, I'm not going around these two corners, I'm going only from this corner in. This is everyone's life. There's no shortcut, there's no cutting it out. That's why Allah teaching you, can you not be from Salihin and say, no I want to go straight to Siddiqeen? No, you have to go the way of the Salihin. And what Allah says, Salihin, they gave in big in generosity, they gave everything of their time. They, they built things, did things, uh, recited things, everything you can imagine of their skill, that's how this tariqah is existing. These gentlemen, they built this, they didn't just appear, this is the blood and sweat of tears of all the people who have put this together. A handful of very pious salihin, they came together and built everything and put it together, it didn't exist. As a result they're moving to shuhada. No doubt that at that maqam Allah begin to open their heart, say that, if you walked away from that will, now you are in My will. And if you're in My will you are entering into My kingdom, open the eye of your heart and begin to look. Their whole life is then now dropping before them for what they look at is far more beautiful now they understood than what they left behind. It's not comparable. This energy, this hal, this beauty, this praising, it's, it's so beatific, it's so powerful, it's so magnificent and munificent that non-people can't understand. How you guys come together? Why do you guys do this type of zikr? Why, why, or why, why, why? Because they don't feel it, they don't taste it, they don't understand what the person is experiencing. Because now their hearts are feeling it, some are even seeing it and they're entering now to the maqam of the Siddiqs. And these great Siddiqs dress them, bless them and give them their character. They say, Abu Bakr as Siddiq al-Mutlaq is be perfected in your character, be truthful with your words and with your deeds and your actions. And dresses, this is the, the inheritance of our beloved grandfather, what I have to give to you is my character, the character that Sayyidina Muhammad loved, dress you and inspire continuously, be truthful. When someone harms you, don't harm them. Someone betrays you, don't betray them. Every good characteristic because Allah will test it, it's not being good just for the sake of, I'm going to say I'm good, Allah is going to make people to be very bad to you, to see that, you know, do you become like that? Our beloved grandfather inspire within us, this is my inheritance. I gave everything in the way and what Allah gave me, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah what does that mean? It means I'm from the ulul bab. I'm the gatekeepers of the cities of knowledge. I'm the reality with inside the city of knowledge. Allah gave that to me because of everything I walked away from. When I'm dressing you, I'm going to dress you from the secret of who Naqshbandiya has Allah who in their zikr. Why? Because Imam Ali Salam is the gatekeeper who cut your, your nafs off and say, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq take you within the city to the presence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad These are the big secrets of the who. They represent hidayat and guidance from the oceans of al-wadud that their wadud, their love was immense for Sayyidina Muhammad not for Allah for Sayyidina Muhammad they didn't know yet Allah This is the, the beatific reality of Allah teaching, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَتَبِيُونِي Then I will give you hibbukum Allah. They sowed such an immense love for Prophet they represent the who, the have hidayat and the wow of wadud, no doubt. These are the representative of who? 
Their life is to perfect the character, perfect the truthfulness and hand you to Imam Ali Salam and now sacrifice everything. Not your money only, not your time but you. And they put their head on the block. It was no longer important about themselves. Everything that comes to destroy and attack them, they are not important. They submit into the ocean of nothingness and annihilation and they are the masters of annihilation. That reality to take you to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Can you literally think that you are entering into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and you have not been trained by the great Siddiqs? And you have not sacrificed and not been washed and not been purified from the great Siddiqs and say, now you're going to speak on behalf of Sayyidina Muhammad I mean these, these are immense realities. Their way is a very fixed way and that's why when they begin to play these nasheeds and, and this, the kalam of awliyaullah from a hundred years, five hundred years, it's all the same. They're consistent in their path. There's no innovation in their path. The path was to take away the dunya, destroy the form, destroy the form and take you into the world of light. And deeper into the world of light for every time the form manifests annihilated again and every time it manifests annihilated again and there's a continuous fana and baqa into those oceans of reality to reach towards this satisfaction. So now Allah is granting Ya Musabib al Asbab. Do you see these difficulties? Don't look for a spice that will take it away, but this is our fate, walk into it. Say, Ya Rabbi, these things are going to come and it comes now, comes later, I don't know. Save me from any torment, save me from any fire, but I'm submitting, Ya Rabbi. Save my children and I pray all night, let me make my salawats, let me make my relationship with Sultana and Nasira. Do I owe them? Pay them. Did I do something wrong? Correct it. You don't want to meet Prophet with all bad characters and bad deeds. This is Allah's rahmah to correct the accounts. As soon as we're correcting, correcting, meditating, contemplating, then we're good with Allah so increase your salawats, increase your istighfar. The supplies that you're buying is not a panic buying but was a sign of rahmah and barakah. Ya Rabbi I can only afford this bag of rice, these crackers and this peanut butter. Let it to be blessed and multiply it and read Holy Qur'an upon it. Pray Sayyidina Muhammad upon it and Allah make every bite to last beyond what can be imagined. So Allah is giving us a time in which to truly see everything collapsing. And what are we going to do with that collapse? Are we trying to, to find a spice to take it away or are we trying to walk into it with the best and most perfected character? And then when we find the guidance and follow the guidance, the du'as that they're asking you to recite, recite them. The salawats they ask you to recite, recite them. Those are coming as authorized. If you did the fajr awrad that should be an immense shield. If, if anyone asking that, send me something from Sayyidina Muhammad are you kidding me? Everything done here is by order of Sayyidina Muhammad Every du'a on the app is from the Sultan of Awliya's, means the one whom faces of all awliyaullah faces directly to the wajik al kareem the blessed and most honoured face, the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is directly reflecting to the Sultan al awliya. Every wazifa and du'a from that Sultan was given to his students. It's not even ground level du'a, it's such an immensely powerful du'a manzoor, umul du'a, all of these are from the king of saints. 
And what are you asking them, give me something from Prophet to recite? You're in such a high class, you don't even know what it is, your questions are showing some, something that is off. The wazifa for the prayers are the wazifa of the Sultan of Saints. Exactly what he recites in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad when he's praying fajr with Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> People don't understand how these people… When they pray, if you, if you think a wali like uh, Sayyidatana Rabbi al-Alawi, everyone believes. When she was praying, Prophet was in the room physically with her praying. I, the, the Sultan of all, only Allah. When he prays, is not in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Does he pray only physically in the presence of Prophet There are awliya who pray physically in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad They can pray facing Sayyidina Muhammad They can pray in the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad This was Sahabi was saying, I swear by the one who holds my soul in his hand. What well, they saw it, awliyaullah reached to that station, they see themselves Praying in the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad everything they give to you is from that reality. Beyond PhD, they teach beyond PhD realities. They're going the reverse in this hemisphere. We talked before that they teach everywhere else in life. A hundred years ago you had to do all your sharia classes, all your fiqh classes, all your hadith classes. And the last phase, if you passed, they send you to the shaykh of dhawq. That those teachers would sign off and say, now you're authorized to go to the teacher of taste, he'll teach you all the haqqaiqs. It wasn't easy. For them to be accepted, they then begin to teach the haqqaiqs. Now they reverse the whole process. They don't want anyone with any knowledge. They don't want you to have any fiqh classes because you're going to drive them crazy. They're going to teach you all of the haqqaiqs. And if any of their students speak to these ulama, they'll be astonished at what they know. Forget about what the shaykh knows because they're being fed from the highest levels of reality because they are ishraqiyoon. When the sun is rising from the west. The east has already in Maghrib, it's in a state of darkness. It lost what Allah gave to it, so then the shift came and now the sun sets upon that region. The sun rising is in the west. When you would see the sun rise from the west, Ya Musabbib al Asbab, when this is happening, Allah is going to raise something new. They are witnessing the power of Islam. They understand now that this wudu of Muslims is powerful. Their Qur'an is powerful, their faith is powerful. These souls that pass away and come into Islam, they'll guide all their descendants back. Means something Allah is opening, it's not happening something random. But when he wants to open what he promised to his beloved Sayyidina Muhammad then things are happening. Events are happening for an immense opening. For the people their ignorance had to be shattered, all that they worship had to be shattered. Even there are people so foolish that you talk to them, they still in denial that death is coming. Oh come on, don't over exaggerate, are you, what are you talking about? You think they're telling you that hundreds of thousands of bodies are dead or all their markets will collapse? That they won't wish, don't worry. No, it's bad and they're hiding it. So it means then when you wake up with your belief, no, 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 bodies are going, this dunya is collapsing, make sure your account is good with Allah and then people begin to see and witness that reality. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, as salaamun al mursaleen, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. 
Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.